Welcome to the Black American Hebrew Unity Discussion, and I'm your brother, your host, Black Sheep. And um, yeah, brothers and sisters, come on in. Um, come on in. Let me see if I can pull this in. Come on in, brothers and sisters. You're welcome. Brothers and sisters from New York all the way to the Bay, please come on in, brothers and sisters, everybody, my enemies and my friends. You know, if you are of the Black Caucus, please come on in. Let's have a unity discussion for Black Americans here at this show. Come on in, brothers and sisters, from New York to the Bay. You ain't doing nothing, man. Stop by, man. Come on in, man. We go. What we do here is cover the news for the Black Caucus. So we are a channel that it, that promotes unity, power, and respect among each other, among the the, 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 the Black Caucus. So come on in, brothers and sisters. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, and today, we're covering news about the Black Caucus. Anything that has to do with us. So let me get something up, brothers and sisters. And just remember, we play it by ear here because a lot of content of other people's I can't share. They have a copyright. So, you know, and I wouldn't know until I get flagged. But I still try to, you know, at least play by the rules. You know what I mean? So, let's do it like that, brothers and sisters. So, <clears throat> let's go to, uh, let's go, brothers, brothers and sisters, to the, to the I, you, I see Israel unite in Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, this is and here. Let's let's go here. And this 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 right here, what I'm sharing, because I told you anything that got to do with the Black Caucus, good or bad, I'm finna represent it and support it here. Okay, so. All right, brothers and sisters, this is by the, the IUIC, brothers, okay? Um, and this is from five days ago, and this has to do, and their, their title is BRICS is the beginning, BRICS is the beginning of World War III, okay? So let's go in and pay attention, get into a quiet place, try to relax, Take some deep breaths and uh, let's listen in, okay? These brothers, these brothers here is coming to, uh, you know, to bring the word of God uh, in hopes that we will awaken to the information that they also are sharing. So I want to share and let them know, you know, thank you for sharing and, you know, uh, thank you for sharing, and, and we recognize you. Came on a slave shipment, I ain't even like that Put my neck in the rope 
Welcome to Four Corners News. This right where the truth speaks. I am Captain Zakar, and to my left, Officer Daniel, and to his left, and us three make up Four <laughs> Corners News. All praise to the most high. Thank you for tuning in, man. We break your news from all over the globe and uh, compare it with the Bible, letting you know that the Bible is a true book, all that's right? That's right. Uh, so make sure you share this with your mom and them because they need to know something so they can come up out of that Christianity. Uh, make sure they don't celebrate uh, thanks, no thanks killing uh, that's coming up. Uh, what else they got coming up? Uh, Saints Day. Saints Day. Uh, which is known as Christmas. And then they got uh, New Year's Foods. As we call it, New Year's food. All right, so uh, let's get straight into it, man. We got a lot going on internationally in the news. Um, matter of fact, before we we, uh, we do that, give me that Matthew 16. Uh, Christ spoke about uh, these things right here, man. And we got to keep our eyes. We got to not let the distractions of the world uh, throw us off, uh, which they do with these daggone uh, holidays back to back to back to back to back to keep your eyes closed. Matthew 16. Uh, let's read verse 1 through 3. Matthew chapter 16 and verse 1. Uh -huh. The Pharisees also with the Sadducees came, and tempting desired him, that he would show them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. Uh -huh. And in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. Oh, ye hypocrites. Why you call them hypocrites is because one thing black folk, Hispanic folk can do without a damn uh, newscaster, we can tell the weather. You know how you know, uh, how many of y'all grandmas in them, uh, when it's about to rain, they knees start to hurt. Oh, you know, it's going to rain today. My, my bones is aching. My arthritis is kicking up. You know damn well when it's about to rain. He called them hypocrites. You can tell the weather, but you can't tell what. Oh, ye hypocrites. Read on. Ye can discern the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? You can't tell what's going on out here in the earth. Look at all this stuff going on around you. And, and particularly to him, you don't see all these miracles that I'm doing right now. You can't tell that he's the Messiah that has, was foretold to come. Just like now, you can't see with all the signs going on in the earth that the Messiah that's foretold to come back again is on his way. Pull up the article of what they over talking about in Russia. What are they doing in Russia? Read that for officers. Russian rally urges Putin to strike Putin. U.S. Isn't that made Putin? It's Putin. Urges Putin to strike U.S. with nuke-capable Satan II missile. They have a rally and urging their president to push the damn button. Bruh. Where you just pull it back up so people can see that, man. They can see it with their own spiritual eyes. They want him to send Satan II. They don't even want him to send the first one. Send the upgraded one over here. Let's read some of that, uh, that article real quick. A rally recently held in Moscow saw attendees and leaders calling for Russian President Vladimir Putin to launch a nuclear strike against Washington, D.C. Against Washington, D.C. And if it hit D.C., best believe it's going to go to other places, right? Now, we got the video on it. Pull up. Let's go to the video. It's on Twitter. I look a little staged, but it is what it is. We got people out there supporting them. So you got to pay attention to these signs of the times when the people are rallying behind their government to blow America off the damn map. You better know the, uh, uh, look up and see the signs of the times. Play the video. <laughs> Now, now, that is what he's saying. He's got to be singing that in there. That's what I think he's saying. Go back to the article, man, so we can see exactly what he was saying in uh, Russia. Because it sounds like he's saying, we will, we will rock you. He probably said we will bomb you. Yeah, that's probably we will bomb you. <laughs> bomb you. Uh, go back to the article. Let's scroll. Let's see what he's saying. Let's read that. Strike the decision-making centers. A man leading the crowd shouts, On Washington, a flight task for the Sarmat missile. On Washington, 
Sarmat strike the enemy's cities. On Washington, USA is the enemy. We will go to heaven as martyrs. Mm. They will simply crow. Wow. You know who they quote when they talk about that? We will go to heaven as martyrs. They will simply crow. Putin said it. Putin quoted that. And now the people are quoting what Putin's saying. So they getting the, he's getting the support that he needs to push the damn button. You better wake up. Yeah. You know what that spells out to me? These dudes are crazy. Yeah. Dude, dude say, I'm ready to die for this. Yeah, they ain't playing no games, oh, man. man. They ain't playing no games. Go to, uh, now Now you know this is, you got allies and stuff, right? So that's Russia saying, push the damn button. Now, look what um, uh, uh, Putin's buddy Mary, said to his Please, people. have a seat. Pull a bet out of Xi Jinping tells China's military to prepare for war, fight, and Win it. Now you got Russia uh, people saying push the damn button, and now you got China's military, which is the largest military on the earth. Their president has told his military to prepare for war, fight, and win it. Wait a minute. Damn. That's what Christ was talking about, man. You can't tell the, 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 the discern the signs of the times. What the hell are you paying attention to? If you don't see that uh, war is on the brink and it can pop off at any moment when you got Russia saying, push the damn button, and you got Chinese government saying, telling his military, get ready for war. Thank you for that half bomb. We appreciate it. <laughs> get ready for war. And it, and this ain't something to be taken lightly because these two are allies. Pull up uh, that thing called bricks for the people. Pull it up. Pull it up. All right, read that. Uh, the the people that are in what you call BRICS. This is like the the second alliance of NATO. Go ahead, read those countries. These countries: Russia, China, India, Brazil, and at the bottom, South Africa. Read it one more time. Russia, China, India, Brazil. And at the bottom, South Africa. Now, I want you to pay attention to this, this map that you got right here. Now, look at it. You see Russia and China and India over there. That is most of the eastern side of the world that is rallying together and making a pact to go against who? America. That sounds like prophecy. That sound like prophecy, don't Ooh, it? That's right. Hey, hey, so go to because most people might not know what BRICS is. Go to go to it and let's see what uh BRICS actually is. Let's explain that to the people. Uh read that form. BRICS. What are BRICS countries? BRICS is an informal group of states comprised of five developing economies. The initial address was as BRIC economies and with the addition of South Africa. The form added the letter S, making it BRICS. Now, now I looked at some other articles. Now it's called BRICS Plus. Now, check out, check out what their their goal is. You see, it's the goal of the union is to promote. Read that real quick. The goal of the union is to promote cooperation and dialogue among themselves, proactively, pragmatically, incrementally, transparently, and open. Man, boy, Man. Read. Yeah. go ahead. <laughs> the focus is also on building a peaceful, harmonious world with common prosperity that serves the interests of all the people and nations that now check this out it says to to form a peaceful and harmonious world give me that in second ezra bring it out this is how you cannot take what we see of those countries that are allying together in the eastern hemisphere you can't take it lightly you have to pay attention to the signs of the times is because you can't have a peaceful and a harmonious world as long as america is in power Thus saith the Lord. Give me that in 2 Ezra chapter 11, and I want you to read verse 40. Look what America has done since the inception of it. Go ahead. 2 Ezra chapter 11 and verse 40. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past. The and fourth came that, yes, the fourth that came is the eagle, and it overcame all the beasts that were before it. That's America. Go ahead. And it had power over the world with great there you go. That's how you know that that beast is the eagle is America. It had all power with fearfulness. Go ahead. And over the whole compass of the earth with much 
wicked oppression. Which what? With much wicked oppression. The, wicked. They rule the earth with much wicked oppression. But the goal of BRICS, which is uh, uh, Brazil, uh, Russia, Russia India, India, China, China and South and America, China. is to create a harmonious, peaceful world. It cannot do that as long as America is in power because it's built on ruling with much wicked oppression. Right. Read on. And so long time dwelt he upon the earth with deceit. It's a mm. deceitful place. As, de as deceit goes into its policies, yeah. its destabilization that it does to politics. the country. Politics. Same That's the wicked right. oppression. Make sure you 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 push capitalism, mm -hmm. right? What really is the same thing as dictatorship. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. Yep. Yeah. Exactly right. You gotta be a wicked nation in order to sanction a country for defending their own doorstep. Right. Like, Damn, that's wicked. On. Right. And, Good and, point. And you know, you know, when when I see this, this is like the reject of the NATO. So they yeah. they decide to form their <laughs> own alliance, yeah. but not yeah. knowing in Revelation 17 it talks about uh, these shall hate the whore. Yeah. Right? They yeah. all have some in common, right. and they come in together because they see that wicked oppression that's going on on this earth right now by Esau and they're trying to combat themselves against them. Right. Now go down to, go back to it, an article and I want you to scroll down. We're going to see what their, their points are. Uh... <clears throat> All right, I'm going to continue the video, brothers and sisters. I will continue the message that the brothers is, is, is sending out to us. But I want to I want to be able to start trying to like I say I'm pushed up into this here so I want to be able to start trying to jump in on certain places where so we can be involved with the conversation you know what I mean brothers and sisters and this one in particular part which there is many but I want to be able to pick the ones where there is you know where where it supports also the Black Caucus. And Black Sheep. So, I'm, I'm sorry, brothers and sisters. See, that was going to happen inevitably anyway. Just because of my, just because of this, him, him right there. Look at it. Destroying everything. I spoiled him, that's why. Uh, yeah, so, uh, and this part here, what the brothers is talking about here is they was able to come together uh, and, and, and was able to formally uh, a, a clan of alliance. And communication with each other. What the brothers in this set, you know, in this segment is saying. Whereas this show reaches out to some form of alliance among black folk. So the young brother was saying what they was doing. And the question that we're asking is, where is that in, among black Americans? You know what I mean? All right, let's continue, brothers and sisters, because I don't want to take up too much of your time. And if, you know, whatever we don't, um, whatever we don't, uh, 
cover here it i cover in another video because you know the brothers is doing the work of our father And, um, you know, we deserve to pay attention to, you know, <clears throat> the message that which, you know, the message it brings. In this case, brothers and sisters, it, there's three brothers, you know, revealing the prophecies of our fathers. I mean, of our father. So, all right. And that was what it was. So, you know, one of the brothers inside of, you know, what I'm saying, um, God's army. Um, you know, if you want to tap in with me, man, if you want to, to, to you know, kind of answer that question that I just asked about, you know, are, you know, where we stand among each other, you know, in the black organizations, you know what I'm saying? You know, what, what was our plan for communication? You know what I mean? You know, and it didn't have to be about war, you know, it could have just been about, you know, us adhering to you know a culture and tradition of ours that we are entitled to you know to have some form of a social you know uh, department you know agency for ourselves you know and i thought that would have been a start from the bnc you know feeding us information on how we can better ourselves you know where the idea was here where people of the black and african american you know, community in, in on, you know, the media, the news media, you know, the hosts, the reporters, and the uh, actors, and our rappers, our singers, you know, our, you know, our, our, our R&B artists, jazz singers, you know, our culture, you know what I mean, start supporting it, but we so far deep down here in a position where you know where the message is getting to us but what can we do right now to 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 help ourselves among ourselves when we don't have no stations down here at ground zero to run to you see what i'm saying in in and where we are you know nothing to participate in in the black caucus you see what I'm saying? So, you know, that was my only question in and on that, brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? That's where the NAACP came in. That's where Minister Lewis, uh, Minister Lewis Farrakhan had, I mean, the Honorable Minister Lewis Farrakhan had uh, brought these brothers and sisters in. You know what I mean? All the, the black, or the leader, all the black leaders of the organizations he had brought them in at a point in time, you see. And, you know, I haven't been getting no updates on if from that meeting what have, have, have transpired or came from that meeting where we all have came together and met. You know what I mean? There's been other instances. I probably have to go look for them where you where there needs to be a line of communication. You know, a, a something that you know that we can be able to you know, if our culture if we can support. You know what I'm saying? And start you know, turning our backs on sin, so to speak, because God has to be at the forefront of this, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. God has to be, you know what I mean? So we need to learn how to support each other in which right now, as you see, I'm making an effort to because a lot of, you know, brothers and sisters that, that and, and you know, my friend, a lot of my friends and my enemies on both sides, you know, really don't try to listen to the, you know, our brothers, but those are our brothers our brothers and our sisters inside of the Hebrew Israel like organization Israel uniting Christ you see what I'm saying so we can't turn our backs on them you know what I mean as you see they not turning their backs on us 
You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. So, all right, brothers and sisters, I hope you enjoy, you know, seeing the show. And I'm hoping that you, you know what I'm saying, be able to give it a chance to prosper. And hoping that, you know, pretty soon I'll be able to get some people in here, some interviews in here together to show you that, you know, other brothers and sisters, you know what I'm saying, that's coming out of the woodworks is coming to me. Man, let me get an interview. And, you know, so I'm like, oh, I interview you, bring you to the show. So, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. So I turn, so probably the next video, I have a Bible reading with you, brothers and sisters. And then the next video, I bring in I, and interview someone. Or I probably just turn the show over to them. You know what I mean, brothers and sisters? So we'll see how it go. And, you know, and and I hope that you're with us and to be able to be a part of a positive, positive and immaculate change for the 21st century and be a part of the awakening of the Black Caucus, brothers and sisters. As you see, this beast do not want us to come to some godly adherence about ourselves. This is godly experience, brothers and sisters. Okay, I'm just letting you know that because you can go in the Bible and see how how Pharaoh he didn't want to let him go, and our father had told him back then, back then, told this beast back then, or not this, you know, told this, uh, told you know, told us in his word. Back even back then, that the Pharaoh wouldn't let him go. He's gonna have to do some miracles. I mean, he's gonna have to, you know, bring some plagues. You know, show his wonders. Our Father. So let's continue, brothers and sisters, while I still got a little time with you. And I, and I, and you know. I, you know, you know, and you know, and why well, I got time with you, brothers and sisters, to be able to spread the message of our Father. Go down and go to the map. It's a map on there. Keep going. Yep. Let's read that. Bricks countries explain. Bricks countries explain objectives of bricks. Energy efficiency and climate control. So they want energy efficiency and climate control. Go ahead. Achieve regional development. Optimizing the use of resources. Uh, optimizing the use of resources. Now, who controls the world's resources? America. Keep going. Better representation of emerging economies. Uh huh. Improving multilateral trading systems. Provide humanitarian assistance to natural calamities. Now, those are the things that their objectives are. Now, America has its hand in each and every one of those and controls it. So in order for them to establish those things, they have to come together and take out the one that is holding the power over them to do those things right That's now. Right. Give me that in uh, Joel real quick. I want to show you something. Let me show you. Joel. Um, I want you to read Joel chapter three. Is it what it is? Yep. Yes, sir. Uh, gather. Go ahead. Read that. Joel chapter three. And, uh, is it two? Uh, Joel chapter three and verse two. Uh, start at nine. Verse nine. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Do what? Prepare war. God said prepare war. This is what he's telling them in the spirit. Go ahead. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Uh -huh. Let them come up. Eat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Read. Let the weak say, I Mary, am strong. Mary, Mary, Mary. Assemble Mary, yourselves your... and come, all ye heathen. Now, how Have is the seat, weak going to be able to say they're strong? South uh, Africa ain't got no nuclear bombs that I know of. They sure in the hell ain't no. got more than America. But what will make them say, I am strong? Russia's my partner, China's my partner, right. India's right. my partner, yeah. and they all got nukes. You won't mess with me, I'm going to call my homeboys up on you. Just like NATO is established, if you mess with one of the little countries, then here comes America to back you up. Ukraine, anybody? That's what they're doing with, with BRICS, all right? Now jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. 
multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. Uh -huh. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Multitudes of armies in the valley of Jehoshaphat. Now you see that the multitudes of the armies forming. They're choosing sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we roll it. We gonna roll with you, Russia. Right, right. right. We don't like what America did yep. last week. So guess what? We with y'all now. Yep, we with you. We gonna yeah. ally with you. Yep, yep, we with you. Now check this out. Go to um, go to the next article of how the G20 that you mentioned earlier is on its way out. Go ahead, pull it. Up. Let's read that. Goodbye, G20. G20 is one of the 20 European countries or whatever you want to call them. They got economic money and all of that stuff. Uh, you know, they 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 include some brown people. But uh, G20 and what else? Hello, BRICS Plus. BRICS Plus. That means they're adding people to it, right? Now go to the main points in that article uh, about war. We just read that. Let's read that. Fixated with war. Uh-huh. Instead, the U.S., which controls NATO, has been weaponizing Ukraine since March by a whopping $91.3 billion. They gave new Ukraine $91 billion dollars to fight Hi, this wait. war. Keep going. Including the latest presidential request this month of $37.7 billion. Damn, that's this month. $37.7 billion. All right, go ahead. That, that happens to be 33% more than Russia's total italics mine military spending for 2022 now read the next paragraph extra evidence of the bali summit being hijacked by war was provided by the emergency meeting called by the u.s, the US called emergency meeting of countries go ahead to debate what ended up being a ukrainian s-300 missile falling on a polish farm now, if you paid attention to the news a, a, a missile was shot into ukraine and they said that it came from first they blamed russia they blamed russia yeah. and they and said no no uh, and the Ukraine said no. Um, I mean, they, Poland said no. It wasn't Russia. It was there was def uh, Ukraine was defending missiles from Russia, but uh, it came from Ukraine. Right there, you go. Yeah. So go back to it. Let's go back to it. Let's read that. And not the start of World War Three, like some tabloids hysterically suggest. That was on the way to World War Three. That missile being yeah. shot because it was going to activate NATO, right. and America would have had to come in, and it would have been on and popping for World War Three at that moment just a, a a missile that ukraine shot off right. and accidentally shot it into their own damn yep. country or poland i think it was poland and two people was about to start world war three an accident was about to start world war three that's the lord that's the lord right there go to the uh other main point in that that's the chair you know how uh, when black folks get together and once that chair they put played it on uh boondocks a chair hit the ground. Uh, yeah, throw a chair. A fight break out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the Lord's chair right there. Yeah, yeah, that's the Lord's chair. Yeah, yeah. That's the Lord's chair. Yep. yep. Uh, pull that up. The line it up, join to join. Now, look at this, y'all. Go ahead. Lining up to join bricks. It is safe to say that the G20 may have plunged into an irretrievable path towards irrelevancy, even before the current Southeast Asian summit wave in Phnom Penh, Bali, and Bangkok. The Vrav have already signaled what comes next. When he noted that over a dozen countries, over what? Over a dozen countries uh -huh. have applied to join BRICS. A dozen countries. Wow. Now check this out. Check this out. Go to Obadiah.